So there we go. Our 2D drawing is now done. Uh, but there's a couple things that I did not do and I want to talk about. So for example, let's say that I've got this part and I've got holes on the top and holes on the bottom. Those need to line up, right? And typically that just sort of magically happens. Uh, but it's not necessarily called out here, right? I don't have like a concentricity call out. I don't have anything that says that this bottom face needs to be parallel to the top face. I don't have anything that says that the surface finish or the surface roughness has a tolerance, right? There's a whole bunch of stuff that's basically assumed. And generally speaking, the machinist assumes you want everything perfect. So they're going to machine and finish all faces, all sides, everything to a really nice clean part. And that may be good enough. It may not be good enough, depending on what else is going on. So let's see an example of that. Back in the assembly, I have another part that I want to work on. This part mates up against this other piece, so it holds the bearing right here in the middle. It mounts to this bottom face where there's a gasket here. So that face and this bearing then hold this tube that holds the actuator, right? I need to make sure that this thing is square and true and accurate, but it's not a very big part. It's gonna be really hard with calipers and plus to minus dimensions to define the types of geometric requirements this has because it's aligning things that are gonna be sticking way out. And if it's not right, we're gonna potentially have problems. Every minor defect in this part will be magnified by the parts around it. So for this one, we're gonna do geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. It's a different style of dimensioning, and it kind of follows some different rules. 